Uh, so describe your day here at, Mus uh, at MCC like and in Muscatine. I mean, what, what do you do? Uh, I usually have classes in the morning. Depends from the day. I usually get done at 1 or 2 o'clock. And then I work at 3. I, I work at the Learning Tree Preschool. And I work there till 5. And then after that, I usually go home, eat dinner, and do homework, sometimes hang out with friends. Okay, and, and, and so, so you, you like, I assume, kids because you are helping yeah. at the day. Here. Yeah, I love kids. Yeah, that, that's good. So, mm -hmm. so, so you are okay with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay, so, so then in the evening, what do you do after you finish with all this? Uh, either watch TV or hang out with friends. Okay. Okay, yeah. do, do, uh, did you ever have any chance to travel somewhere in the United States? Did you visit any place? Uh, last year when I was here, my host family took me to Puerto Rico for spring break. Well, that's good. Yeah, that is it was good. a lot of fun. So yeah. it was a, a big, big thing for you yeah. to see and uh -huh. be part of what we call spring break here, which yeah. is, as a matter of fact, we have it next week here yeah, at MCC. No. So, uh, of course, we have the spring break, which means no classes, which means for students, I assume, it's a lot of fun. Fun time, it's yeah. Fun <laughs> time. Okay, uh, so, so, so simply, did you visit any cities around, let's say, Muscatine? For example, have you ever been to Chicago? Yeah, uh, I've been to Chicago did, a couple of times. Yeah, did you enjoy the city? Yeah, there? yeah, I did. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it was more of America. Like when we think of America, we think of tall buildings and a lot of traffic and stuff like that. So Chicago. So it will be, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, that's good, okay. So uh, the other thing is like that I would like to talk to you about will be Muscatine as a city. I mean, can you share some of your experience with the audience? Because of course you are talking to Muscatine people here now on this show. So can you can you share things with them? And and you said that you have a host family. I mean, you can talk about your host family if you want. Uh, you can talk about you know uh, how what do you think of this city? I mean, and things like that. All right. Well, the thing that I love the most about Muscatine is the people. Uh, I love the people. They are very nice, very helpful, uh, and generous. I've been living with host families ever since I got here, and they are amazing. They really take care of us really good. Right now, I'm living with Pete and Christy Corpy, uh, and I'm having a blast. Uh, I really like Muscatine. Um, I love it that there's a lot of activities you can be involved in especially last year when I was at the high school, there were a lot of things going on and a lot of activities, things that we didn't have a chance to do when we were back home. Okay, that is good. So I'm, I'm glad to know that yeah. you are very happy here and uh, you are right, definitely Muscatine community uh, really is really a very warm and friendly community. I mean, yes. people will help no matter what. I mean, if you ask anybody for any help, I'm, I'm sure uh, they will help you. That's that's what makes really uh, living in Muscatine really totally different than any other place, hopefully yeah. in, in the United States. Uh, okay, so, so my next question will be like, you are enjoying your time here at MCC, living in Muscatine, and sometimes you travel from time to time and so on. I mean, I'm sure you are learning things yeah. about the American life, uh, you know, about, you know, how we spend our day here in, in the United States. I mean, my question to you, like, if you like to take one thing back home to your native country, Kosovo, from United States and things that, of course, that you learn in in United States. What would be that one thing, and why? Um, just one thing. Oh, you can <laughs> tell me more than one thing, but you know, I, I mean, that's fine. Um, I would say, um, well, I really like that there's a lot of opportunity here, something we don't have back home, and uh, the school system and everything. It's way different, but it's way nicer. So. I would really enjoy it back home if it was the same. So, so if if in the future you end up going back home to Kosovo, so like you would like to see, let's say this, the educational system different, or you like yeah. to see a change yeah, in the education system, like in, in what sense? It I, has been changing a lot lately, and that's why it's not very stable right now. So. Um, I would really like it if we could have the same chance to 
like pick our classes and have activities that are involved during the school time because we don't have that and maybe even have it longer as here but yeah. usually students don't like that okay okay so so my understanding again from you that you know when you go to school you really don't pick the subjects no. that you, you have, have to study every year you have 12 to 14 subjects you have to take and they are all year long so and, and, and do you have like any kind of a standard test at the end of the high school or I yeah mean, we have a test we have to take before we get into the high school and then we have a test that we have to take after we're done because we cannot graduate without passing the test mm -hmm. and what will happen if for example somebody didn't pass that test? you have to wait till next year and take it again and then if you pass you get your diploma if not you have to wait and one more year yeah wow wow it's, it's it reminded me with the, almost the same educational system that we have in in my native country too i mean it's it's very competitive i mean yeah. it's a small country so you have to be very competitive yeah yeah and it's different because back home in high school you can decide what you want to do so we have a gymnasium and then we have a business high school economic high school so you can pick what you want to start learning from the high school and then continue to so, college. So, so what you are saying that by the time you finish your high school, you know exactly what you want to do. Depends. Well, if you go to gymnasium, then it's, you don't know. You, you're just going to take high, gymnasium, and then you can go and okay. pick whatever you want. But if you know what you want to do, then we have separate high schools you can go to. OK. And for example, if somebody wants to major in economics, so they go, they go to that school. Yeah. And, and what they learn? Uh, they learn only economics, or they well, teach them also other no, subjects? No, they, they learn other subjects, too, but it's mostly focused in economics. OK. OK. Wow. That, that's a very interesting system, too. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really it's good to know, you yeah. know that you have a system which, which is totally different, different here, here, of course, in the United States. Okay, now I want to take you back again to your major. You said you are majoring here in music. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Why music? I mean, is it, is it because, you know, you like to sing or you like to play an instrument or there is a different reason for that? Well, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to do music. Uh, I, am, I play different instruments and I like to sing, so I figured I'll just... And I love kids, so I thought if I study music, I could become a teacher and teach music. Okay, so, so your objectives, that means in the future, is to become a music teacher. Sure, yeah. Okay, for, for kids, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So you mentioned that you, are, you play different instruments. Yeah. Uh, can you give us an idea about what instruments do you yeah, play? Yeah, I play the piano, guitar, uh, drums, penny whistle, harmonica, and ukulele. Wow, wow. Uh, too many. Yeah. <laughs> too many. So, uh, does music make you think different as, 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 a, as a field or as a subject? Does it have an effect on, let's say, your daily life activities? Or it's, you know, it just, you know, I mean, you go to school, you go to classes, you study the music, you study how to play certain instrument, you sing, you take voice lessons and so on. And then outside that, you, you know, you don't think of it. Uh, well, it depends. It does affect you in a way, but it, the classes are like different. If you're taking other classes compared to music classes, it's different. It's not as hard, and then you kind of enjoy it. And but but again, I'm I'm sure you are in music because you like that, yeah, as you mentioned a couple of times, yeah. and you said like since you are young. I mean, you you like the idea to. Uh, be in this field because you mm -hmm. used to sing, you played music, and, and so on. So that's that's really a good thing to, to know. Well, finally, uh, I would like to give you a minute and ask okay. you to say wherever or share wherever you would like to share with us. So, so uh, it's, you know, you say wherever you want. All right, well, first of all, I would like to thank the Muscatine uh, Youth and Children Choir and all my host families for having me and supporting me and making this possible for me. And then I would also thank all the Muscatine Community College staff and teachers for being very helpful to us and offering this opportunity to us. So thank you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to uh, 
to see you around and to talk to you and also see you always, you, you, you are the kind of person that smiles a lot. So uh, it's always good to know that. You know, I, one thing I would like to say before I end the show, I mean, uh, you know, uh, for those of you who know Chad Bishop, I, I know, you know, a lot of you knows Chad Bishop. Uh, he produced the show and, you know, I came here today uh, getting ready, of course, to film the show and Chad looked at me and I said, John, we're going to wait a little bit because I have a new idea for the show. I said, well, a new idea is always good. So I don't know if uh, you notice really the new set for the show. Uh, Chad decided to have a monitor behind us that has, of course, a logo. Uh, of the show, uh, he put like the flags next to that. So, so it, if you have any idea really for the show, I mean, just please don't hesitate. Call me, contact me, email me. That will be good. And 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 here, I really have to be really very honest here and say, Chad, I really like that set. I mean, it's it's really nice to look at the TVs and look, you know at the monitor behind us and have all this, you know, logos and flags and so on. That's really a very good and positive change. So many thanks for all your work uh, and I really enjoy working with you. Uh, as usual, if you have any question and all ideas, please call me at 288-6064 or you can email me at jdebate at eicc.edu. Till next time, Muscatine. Bye-bye.